Hi guys, this is OS back with another tutorial of AutoCAD Essential Training Series. In this video, we'll talk about making our text object. First, let's go and create a text style. So, type style on the keyboard. ST is enough to complete the command. Press spacebar and now you get this dialog box here. So, I've got this few text style already been made. But what I want to do, I want to make a new text style. So, I'll go click on new and I give a name to mine, press OK and then with the mine, uh, the reason why the simplex text is selected because my current set text style was set to style 1 so it inherited from the style 1 so I've got this list here for text styles if you've got some different programs installed in your computer you might see different kind of text styles here so I'll keep that as simplex and one thing I want to show you is you got this A symbol next to your text style that means that that text belongs to AutoCAD so the simplex text is good enough for anything you make in AutoCAD I will highly recommend that the height should leave as zero because if you give a value to the height of your text then you are locked in and you cannot change that to any text object while you're working so with the width factor I'll keep that as 0.8 I just want to make my text narrower I can even apply the ang angle as well let's say if I type 45 as you can see my text preview is showing me that the angle has been applied but I keep that as 0 I can apply upside down effect to my text I can apply backward text I can even apply vertical text so for now I'll leave that as it and then I apply and I click on this mine textile and I click on set current and I close now you have successfully created a new textile so now we will create a single line text object okay so click on this flight menu in your annotation panel and select a single line text object zoom in to this bedroom and now it's gonna ask me to specify the first point so I click here and now it's asking me to specify height by default it's set to 1 feet but I want to change it to 9 inches so I'll give a value 9 press enter and now it's asking me the text angle so I keep that at 0 by pressing spacebar and now I just start typing text bedroom enter okay double enter for exiting the command and now if I select object so as you can see that these two are separate text object now I realize that I want to change the height of these two text object that's very easy and simple just select these two objects and type PR for properties press spacebar in the properties panel as you can see now we got two text objects selected I give you an overview of these properties for the text here you can change your color by default it's set to by layer I can even change the layer I can give it line type and down here in the text I can change the style to it let's say in the style textile dialog box we had few text style I can change that to whichever one but I want to keep that to mine I can justify the it to middle and I can change the height as well I can give a rotation angle I can even change my width factor as you can see that by default it's 0 0.8 it's because our text style has this width factor so I'll change the height to 1 feet and as you can see that our text object has been set to 1 feet of height I'm going to move my text object by selecting move command give a base point and I'm going to move it to middle the best way to write a text object is by copying the existing one so I'll select my copy command select these two objects give a base point and then I'll copy that to my next bedroom alright so let's say I want to change this to bedroom 2 so what I can do I can select this and double click on it and just type 2 that's it that's what you have to do and I can move it to the front of the bedroom 
All right, guys. Let's have a look at the multi-line text now. I go and click to my multi-line text command. The shortcut command from keyboard is M text. I click on it now. I'm gonna specify my first corner point. And now, what I have to do is I have to move my cursor down to specify a rectangle where my text is gonna be. So I click about here, and now I've got this rectangle, a box here. In the multi-line text you got a few options on your panel in the text editor so you got your styles you can change the styles right there you can match the layer let's say I've got a text here on some other style I want to match it to a specific style so I can use this command I can specify my text here text font style here I can specify a color and let's say I'll type living area And now if I just hold and drag from here and make my rectangle bigger. So let's say I want to I want to keep that text in the center. So there's an option called justification. Click on it and you get middle center and say click here and your text would be in the middle. Here I've got left right. It's all about if you know Microsoft Word then you are familiar with these options. So I keep that in the middle. I've got line spacing here, I've got bullets and numbering here, I can even make columns. I have option here to check my spelling and I can even add a dictionary, let's say you're typing in other language but using in English alphabet so you can specify your own words. You can find and replace any word from this rectangle. You can turn on and off ruler. So now what I want to do, I want to press enter and I click outside the box to finish the command and now I go and select my multi-line text I've got three kinds of vertex here so with this vertex I can just move my rectangle along with text with this I can increase my rectangle size and decrease it from left to right with this vector from top to bottom so let's add some more text to it. You double click on the text and it will get you back to your editing, text editor, sorry. And I'll type some random text here. See, as you can see that, and I click outside, so I've got this text here. So I've got a few more um, things here. If I drag this vertex down, as you can see that, that text on the right will come down to it because my box wasn't big enough to accumulate this old text into one area that's why it was happening so now I got this text here I can make even bigger rectangle so this is about multi-line text hi guys thanks for watching this video subscribe to my channel for more tutorials on AutoCAD and if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video